money on a Monday. And not everyone is happy with uh, SARS automatic assessments. The, the tax filing season started about a week ago, and there are many people not happy with the seemingly over-efficiency of the automatic assessment because they are unable to submit any additional details on expenditure or income. It's come under fire for those who did not have a chance to query any of this process. Uh, Johnstone Makuba is the Chief Revenue Officer for the South African Revenue Service. Johnson, thanks so much for joining us. Um, Auto assessments have been done in the past, but why do you think... This season, this tax season, did not necessarily go without any itch. Many people contacting this radio station saying that they're largely unhappy with the system because they were not able to make any recommendations or remarks until the filing season had already opened, Johnston. And by this time, they had already been paid their refunds. Uh, Good morning, Lester, to you and your listeners, and thank you for having us. Um, Maybe to put the... The, the discussion into context, uh, we, we would have issued by now around 3.7 million auto assessments and would have paid around 13.3 billion to those taxpayers that would have been uh, in the credit uh, position. What, <clears throat> and, and if I may add that around 98% uh, of those that received auto assessments uh, didn't do any changes uh, to those uh, auto assessments or to the returns that were auto assessed using third-party third party data. So, in, in essence, what probably um, uh, would be raising the concerns that most taxpayers had is that you'll recall in the first week, we started issuing out uh, auto assessments uh, from around the 30th of June, um, but we only opened the ability for those that wanted to edit their return on the 7th uh, of July at 8 p.m. So, uh, our sense is that those that uh, wanted to immediately edit there are returns between uh, when the auto assessment communication was sent on the 30th, thereabouts, uh, uh, to the 7th of July. They would not have been able to do. There's a number of reasons why we had uh, opted to open up the filing season on the 7th of, uh, of July at 8 p.m. So my, our sense is that those that had received the auto assessment and had been, had been uh, in need to edit it were not able to do so until the 7th. Uh, of July, after which, um, as I indicate, uh, 8 p.m. on the 7th of July would have opened the filing, mm. e-filing channel for them to be able to do those edits. So anybody that um, uh, still wants to do further corrections or mm. make available to us additional information, despite the fact that would have processed their credit, has got a right uh, and the, the ability to be able to then go into e-filing or any of our channels, including Mobi app, to then provide that additional information that SARS would then consider uh, accordingly. So, essentially, you're saying largely teething pro- problems that the majority of people who went through the auto assessment process went through with without a glitch, and I, underst- I would understand that those who would make a lot of noise would be coming to us radio stations around the country saying there there are issues and you're saying that those are largely in the minority of people who've had issues our view is a, is a such and uh, we we would have expected uh, Lester that uh, when we then open the filing season on Friday the 7th of July at 8 p.m. that uh, we would have seen a drastic shift in the in terms of those that would have uh, submitted secondary returns thereby correcting the auto assessment that we would have issued. We, we've seen some uh, actually filing, as I indicate, that uh, about 98% of that 3.7 that we issued has not indicated any uh, edits uh, onto their returns. They may still uh, do so in future. Uh, however, as we sit now, uh, those have not. I don't want to come across as though uh, the difference uh, was not inconvenient. I think uh, we will we will relook uh, the the decision from our side to not open uh, e-filing in that first week because, again, the rationale uh, would have been that uh, if you're auto-assessing a population as large as 3.7 million, uh, ideally, you don't want to have those people start filing because uh, they may be filing information that you already have. And if you want to give them the convenience and the seamless service, you want to ensure that uh, you get the opportunity first to communicate with them that they've been auto-assessed and open the filing season once you've communicated with them. They may indeed get the, the payment because we had committed to pay 
uh, within 72 hours. And I, I think in this economy, there's a number of people that would have expected us to do the right thing in terms of uh, putting that money back into the economy. It's quite substantial at 13.3 billion. But I think uh, we may want to consider whether uh, the delayed opening of the filing channel, uh, filing channels by a week, uh, can be reviewed going forward so that immediately when we issue the auto assessment, those people can be able to do the edits. I think the only difference this year is that in that first week, we had issued auto assessments but had not allowed the editing. Mm. And we, uh, if after every filing season, we do uh, a review to understand whether there is any improvements that we can do like any other organization. Thank you. Johnson um, Makubu, Chief Revenue Officer for the South African Revenue Service. Let me know your experience with SARS Auto Assessment 0214460567. You can drop me a WhatsApp 0725671567.